being safe around wild animals is obviously very important, especially here in the Bay Area where we have plenty of them. And this week marks National Wildlife Week where we get a reminder of just that. This morning, our very own AA, Anthony Allred, took a trip to Seminole with a wildlife expert to give us an up-close and personal look at what this is all about. It's National Wildlife Week, and to celebrate, we are out here in Seminole with Vernon Yates at his Wildlife Rescue and Rehab Facility, and I can see right here, this is Timmy. Timmy is a baboon, and Timmy is a bad boy. He has tried to attack four people, and Vernon Yates took him in, and look at here, look at here, this is Hermes the Eurasian Eagle Owl. He's being a little fickle right now, and he doesn't want to show his face, but I have right here Dr. Woodman to tell me a little more about this menacing creature. So this is Hermes. He's a Eurasian eagle owl, so he's native to Europe and Asia. This guy is real friendly, but in the wild, they're actually quite ferocious. They'll drive golden eagles out of their territory, and they will take prey the size of goats and small sheep. Uh, they live for about 40 years. He's a relatively young boy, about eight years of age. Um, he's the largest species of owl in the world. And crikey, crikey, one of my favorite animals in the world is the alligator. And look at this beast right here. He is 12 feet long and weighs is about 700 pounds. Now, right here, what we have is an encampment for bears right here, and I have Vernon to tell me, Vernon, uh, you didn't find any of these on the streets of St. Pete? No, I didn't. Most of the, these were bears that were just given to me for various reasons of seized by law enforcement. People just didn't want them no more. Um, that's primarily where we got the black bears from. And one of the most interesting animals here that comes with the backstory is Ty the Tiger. Vernon, tell me, why is Ty so famous? Well, Ty actually got sick a couple years back with a uh, hairball, and he had to get uh, Dr. Woodman and Blue Pearl had to do a surgery to cut it out of him, and it weighed about four and a half pounds of hair, and it went to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. They requested it for, uh, to be used as the world's largest hairball. Um, and that's where he went. And in, in doing that, uh, it's actually made all around the world and every continent that's been talked about him. Oh, hey, what an interesting story. And to me, this is a very interesting week where you can celebrate everything wild. In Seminole, Anthony Allred, News Channel 8.